Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Spiritual Rain. My name is Rain. Today I am announcing a new series that I'm doing. It's called Healing with the Inner Tarot. I'm going to be following along with the beautiful healing structure put together by the author Kate Van Horn in her book, The Inner Tarot. Each episode will follow the teachings and the practices and the healing methods for each card in the tarot. I've been wanting to start a healing journey for the longest time, but nothing really resonated with me. I pulled some cards, I did some journaling, I talked to friends, I thought about things, but I never found the structure that I really could relate to. And one day I was doing some research online for one of my shows and I was on Amazon and this book popped up in my suggestions to purchase. So I took a look at the description and I thought it was kind of interesting. And at the time I had a free three month trial with Audible. So that book was on there. It was a book that you could listen to. So I decided to give it a try because it was actually narrated by the author herself, Kate. And that weekend I listened to the book like the whole weekend. It was about a seven and a half hour listen. And I just fell in love with it. I fell in love with her structure. I could relate to how she was suggesting that we do things relating to each card in the tarot along our healing journey. Now I'm not promoting the book, though I would if I could, because I think it's fantastic. I love the way she wrote her book. She starts by telling a bit of her story and she talks a little bit about the tarot. She talks about numerology and she actually starts with the minor arcana. A lot of books start with the majors all the time, but she starts with the suit of pentacles. So next Sunday after gratitude hour, my first episode will be focusing on the ace of pentacles and how we can heal along with that card. In her book, Kate describes the suit of pentacles as in my body. She describes the suit of cups as in my emotions. The suit of swords is in my voice. And the suit of wands is in my purpose. She describes the major arcana as in my story. It's very different from any kind of healing practice that I've ever been familiar with, and I think it's going to do a lot of good. I was going to do this series as a live stream so that I can interact with people, but I just decided I would prefer to do it as a pre-recorded series because, after all, it is about healing, and there's a possibility that things could get emotional because healing can be very raw. So... I decided to do it pre-recorded. Now everyone's healing journey is different and very personal. And for me, I'm going to be focusing on the healing that needs to be done from relationships. Um, I've had the most damage done to me through personal relationships, starting with parental relationships, sibling relationships, and romantic relationships. I actually had an epiphany this summer that I was basically reliving my parental and sibling relationships in all of my adult relationships. I have been doing that my entire life. Um, not only through romantic relationships, but also work relationships and friendships. Now, most of the damage that's been done has happened during the romantic relationships. So I had to walk away from toxic relationships and it was hard, it wasn't easy. I had to be, be brave enough to convince myself that I was the only one who could break that cycle. That if I didn't start to heal from all of this damage that's happened in my life, uh, whether I enabled it or not, whether I allowed it to happen or not, I still have to heal from it. Otherwise, I'm going to be repeating the cycle throughout my entire life, for the rest of my life. All of those toxic relationships will continue. I will always choose the same partner over and over and over until I put a stop to that cycle. I'll be focusing on the damage that's been done through romantic relationships, but I also have to fit in healing from the parental and sibling relationships as well. It's very important because I'm 56 years old and I just realized that I've been, I've been reliving the same relationship over and over for years. 
I have to put myself into this healing journey so that I can find healthier relationships. Now, don't get me wrong, I do have some wonderful friendships that are very, very healthy, so I'm on my way. But I might want to be in a romantic relationship again one day. And if I don't work on this, I may be choosing the same partner over and over, either consciously or subconsciously. The same partner with the same personality style that has caused, caused so much damage in all of my life. And I have been doing this my entire life. So I invite you to join me. I will be posting a new video every Sunday and it will be available for viewing after my live stream on Sundays, Sunday Gratitude Hour. So keep an eye out for that. And if it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. But if it does resonate with you, I encourage you, my friends, start your healing journey. Life is just way too short. Thank you so much. Take care of yourselves, my friends. I'm tapping my heart and sending you lots and lots of love. Bye.